Hello YouTube, it's time for Market Watch. Uh, regionals concluded for the Beats 11 season. We still got two more to go. Uh, so we got to talk about how the regionals might affect the prices of some cards and move on to BT12 because you know, there's only a few more ways out of the format anyway. I think people are going to try to get their BT11 invites while they can, but then BT12 will be on the forefront for quite a while. And I know people are already prepping for it. So here we go. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn the notification bell to smash potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing digital videos go live. Friendly reminder to actually please subscribe because still only half of you are subscribed. It's crazy. It's like you can just click that button. All right, anyway, okay. Omnimons. Not a whole lot of change. The gold one keeps going down. Zwart Defeat keeps going down. That's crazy. 69 listings though, which is nice. But uh, yeah, this keeps falling. I wonder how far it'll go. But yeah, that's uh, pretty, pretty good. Aldemon um, is my scapegoat for BT12 singles. A rare Aldemon is not worth $5. Do not buy the pre-sales. Just don't do that. The uh, lottery card bills him on here at the 390 range. Um, it's just going up, up, up. People are where people had no problem paying threes, three and a halfs, you know what I mean? Uh, but now we're going back up to 400. I do expect this not to drop significantly anytime soon because well, Bilsmon is tier one right now and it's going to be tier one next set. So I don't, you got to play this card. I don't think it's going anywhere, but uh, that's important. This card's expensive. All the other Bilsmon cards, by the way, the EX2, they're just up there as well. So they're not getting any cheaper anytime soon. Death X is low. The alt art is kind of wiggling down and the secret rare is kind of wiggling down. Um, Death X did see a surge in play in the regional, I noticed. Uh, cross heart everywhere. Death X is free. It's pretty good. Uh, very good removal card. Very good pressure card. Very good board wipe card uh, in terms of Digimon, basically. What's nice about Death X Mon is it's good at this moment in time, but people might increase their Psych Mon usage, which makes this card a little bit worse. Uh, but Death X Mon does have some utility and application next set as well. Uh, so definitely something to keep your eye on. You know, it could fall a little bit more, which is really, really cool. And hopefully it does for the people that want to get this card. Examon here is kind of on the down low, 28, 29 bucks, but it is creeping up. For, I don't know why. I, I did notice yesterday in the regionals, there was an undefeated Examon player at some point. I don't know how we ended up doing. I guess we won't know until we get the top 16 results. But, uh, Examon is cool right now with Mulligans. It will not be cool once BT12 comes out. So, uh, get rid of your X-Mons while you can. It'll be cheaper in a few weeks. Now, pre-release Aldemon here, kind of just, you know, this is the max rarity of the red hybrid stuff, uh, so to speak, these pre-release stamp cards. There's no significant movement. They are expensive because we are getting closer to BT-12. I do expect these cards to go up again soon. Uh, luckily, Ancient Greymon didn't see a whole lot of movement. Well, the alt art didn't. The regular art saw... <laughs> A bit of a spike. Uh, but besides that, nothing else in the uh, ancient gray red hybrid stuff really went up yesterday in price. Which is which is cool. There were a lot of listings to kind of sift through here. A couple, there was a little bit of action, then more people listed for lower. Uh, ancient Greymon, you know, is not the red hybrid. Well, it's not technically red hybrid at all. It's not the, the boss monster you're thinking of in BT12 with all the new stuff. The Emperor Grey is really the way that people are thinking about. Uh, I've done a little bit of finagling in BT12 already. I can tell you the Ancient Greymon is still good, but nobody will care <laughs> until someone tops with it. Um, I think Ancient Greymon is going through a little bit of a hype spike right now, so I do think you should uh, cool on it a little bit. Unless you want the alternate art, then the alternate art is cheaper right now at this moment in time. Maybe grab that one. Okay, Gallimon X. I, I bring this up. You know, I almost lost to Gallimon yesterday, round two the regionals like i guess saturday now when you see this the red decks with mulligans i think is very powerful red decks i think are one of the colors decks that get the significant buff because like red decks are known for you know they they hit hard like a fucking truck but then they brick you know what i mean the mulligan helps alleviate that a little bit galamon x is one of the cards that really makes the archetype shine in my opinion i do not think this will last though. BT12 is going to come out and Gallantmon is not going to be tier 1. It's going to be tier 2. 
I think the card's going to drop a little bit in price, is my opinion here. Uh, did you guys know that the EX2 Tamer Party Talmon is $15? Yeah. It's max rarity. Yeah. Um, Alter Leomons are down the lowest I've seen them in a long time. Uh, I, I think you grab them. I do think you grab them. You can also ch wait a little bit and see how far that knife goes. Maybe you can get them for 8 bucks. Maybe. Uh, but keep an eye on it. Get, get it if you want it. You know, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm not going to say Blue Hybrid is not seeing play or all force, but a Blue Hybrid did top Latin American regionals with Leomons. So, uh, card still seeing play in Beat 11. Still seeing play. The green memory boost. This is my scapegoat for the memory boosts. They are going up in price, these all tarp memory boosts. Uh, and they will be max rarity until the reprint set comes out, which at that point in time, they still might be considered max rarity. I don't know. We'll see how the community feels about it. But the green memory boost, as well as the red one and a couple others, are expensive, and they will be. You know, the memory boosts are really good cards, in my opinion. Until they get power crept, I don't think they're going anywhere. Altar Dorada, uh, besides this one random listing, has not calmed down. Now, to be fair, no one's bought into it, which is good. Uh, I do think this card falls in price, like it goes back to normal, before people start buying it again. That being said... You know, if BT14 reveals start happening, and then we see Diabormon cards get leaked, <laughs> oh, you better be quick to buy these cards, TCG player, let me tell you. Um, did you know Andrew Amon from BT11 is $3 going up? I don't know why. If anyone knows, let me know. Um, the the uh, Max Rarity Cross Heart deck is, is uh, you know, it's like a $200 deck right now. Um, you know... But budget is still the way I'd go, honestly. You can think, look at cards like Shalmon X5. They're still $6, $5, $6. are $5, $6. The X7s are less. You know what I mean? The Tamers are all less. You know, for the best deck in the format, if you want a good chance of doing well at regionals on a budget, this is the way to go. This is definitely the way to go here. We have Bloom Lord Mon uh, spiking up at 8 bucks here. It also saw play at the regionals, and people are all over it. All over it, it did top the regionals. Um, and Bloom Lord, as you know, as you've ever talked about, we'll see play in BT12 for real with Quartzmon. <laughs> it, it's hard because we don't know the scale of how good it is in BT11 right now, and we don't know, you know, if it'll go down in price or not. I think you try to get this card for a deal uh, offline, not TCG player, and just wait it out for BT12 and see what happens. You know, this is a BT10 super rare. There ain't a whole lot of BT10 being opened. Uh, that will affect the price of the card for sure. The last card today is War Greymon X. Um, War Greymon is one of the BT12 decks that's on everyone's minds. Uh, and it's just slowly, slowly been going up at four bucks. Five bucks now almost. So, uh, you know, get this card while you can, so to speak. BT9, again, you know. Because of Death X, the set gets a little open a little more than average, but the sealed product price is also more expensive. Like if you look at X record here, actually look at it. Like if you look at the box of the prices here, it's crazy. So people aren't really opening X record at this moment in time. And it's gonna cost some of this stuff to see expensive prices. You know what I mean? Like, God forbid some of the merciful mode wins a regional, that's gonna explode. But going back to War Grey here. And even the all tarts at freaking 42 bucks getting close to buyout and all glue access, you know. Um, very sought after, one of the most powerful sets of all time. This card lives in it, and you do need a next set if you plan on playing BT12 War Greymon. Maybe you grab it now, while it's before it becomes like a $10 super, which we've seen with other War Greymon cards before. That'll do it for today's Market Watch. Nice, short, and simple. Didn't want to keep you guys too long. Uh, we'll see what happens, though, once the full. Uh, BT11 regional top 16 for all regionals come out then the market will start moving a little bit more but you know two more regionals to go and then we're on the BT12 so keep that in mind when making all of your financial decisions with card games that's it though that's it for the market watch you let me know what you think in the comments we will see you later bye